What is going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to today's vlog. It feels like it's been a while and I've really really missed vlogging because I haven't been uploading that much lately but um, don't get confused, I've been working hard on a lot of other things, right? So that's why the vlogs have been a little bit less but I've put in effort on other places um, but overall I've been killing it so it's all good. So I'll give you guys some updates. I think first thing and this is the definite news that I heard yesterday is that I will be at the Fit Fair which is a fitness expo here in the Netherlands and I will have my own freaking boot. So that is really cool news. I'm really excited about that. And it's actually crazy when I think about it. 2016, I was at the FIBO, a fitness expo in Germany, as a visitor. And it was my goal to be there as an athlete, which happened in 2017, a year later. And now one year later, 2018, I have my own freaking boot at a fitness expo, a Marine boot. How sick. So yeah, at this booth, I represent my three businesses, Student Aesthetics, Online Coaching Business, My Shredded Lifestyle, and Crystal Limited. So my whole team will be there, whole crew is gonna be a super fun weekend. It's on the 24th and 25th of November in Utrecht. So if you wanna be there, I do have a special discount code, which will give you 10% off of your ticket, and the link will be in the description box down below. So that's that for announcement number one. I just wanna make sure you guys save the date because it is in less than a month from now, right? So hope to see you there. Now let's get this day rolling. <laughs> I've been really happy being home after traveling a lot last year and like summer and everything and now I've been home for a few weeks but I do have to say that it is getting really cold here in the Netherlands right like not yet but in in a couple of weeks it's gonna get really cold and we can feel it coming so I didn't really prepare my mind to it especially since I've been in all these warm countries and shit and like now it's time to accept that winter is coming uh, but I think it will be all good it's also like a good vibe you know like when it snows and Christmas and all that kind of stuff so Going to Sweden would also be pretty cool, I think, when it's like super wide and a lot of snow and it's a different kind of vibe. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I think I really hate the cold, uh, but at the same time, I do like the fashion style more when it's a little bit colder because then you can use different layers and stuff instead of just wearing one t-shirt or like one tank top because it's like too sweaty outside, right? So fashion-wise, winter is cool. Yeah, so because I haven't been vlogging for a while, I actually even forgot, but on YouTube, I haven't even shared that we have the new bomber jackets from Crystal and they're not live. Yeah, we've been working on these for a long time. You, you probably have seen them coming by in a vlog, but now they're officially live. And with this bomber jacket, we've really focused on little details that make it really stand out, such as these crystal zippers. Now, I do recommend going one size up from what you normally have. When it's colder days, you might want to wear a sweater under your jacket, right? So then, right now I'm wearing a large, but an extra large would fit a little bit better because it is kind of tight in the back. Obviously, the website already went live and we did share it on Instagram. So thank you guys that placed an order from there. Uh, but if you haven't seen it yet or you don't know it is live yet, that you know now. So yeah, I worked a bit there at the Crystal office where Raymo discussed a lot of things. We have some really cool, exciting plans coming. Per usual, uh, we're also gonna leave this office in about a month from now, and then I'll by that time I'll show you guys where we're going next, what the next move is. For now, I am hungry and I'm really excited to hit the gym tonight. During this bulk, man, I feel like right now because I'm eating so much food, I'm just like super focused. Every workout is going well. I want to go to the gym. I'm like, it's on my mind. Why, like when I wake up, and those are the old times I remember when I was just very excited about the gym life and that has been gone a little bit when I was cutting a lot because when you're cutting you're just not making progress in the gym so it feels good to be back on that surplus life and I'm excited every day so let's go home eat some food and then destroy a workout it's the biggest piece of fish ever Gains. so we're gonna make a really easy fish meal here salmon healthy fats proteins and then we're gonna make some pasta as well Put these veggies with it just simple stuff we gotta eat quick. Why are we taking over the vlog? As you can see, I hope. I hope they notice. Ah. Hey, quiet! <laughs> <laughs> it's 40. Yeah, we don't wanna eat too much because it's a lag day. We got salmon, you know, it's kind of high in fat, so calories are gonna stack up. You don't wanna be too full before you hit those squats, you know? Yes, yes, the boys are.
Okay, guys, so we got everything here that you got in the pan. Oyster sauce. Oh, that smells good. No oh, man. Oh yeah. Looking juicy. Juicy. Big smile on my face. <laughs> man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I was in traffic jam wire as well. I forgot that people actually work from nine to five, that that is a thing. So I was driving home at five o'clock. <laughs> You don't want to do that. But now it's all good. <laughs> now, now it's all good, now, yo. We got now, the meal on the table. Now we got this. It's all we good. got this. We got gym session afterwards. But uh, tell me how it tastes. Mm. Tell me. <laughs> how, would you, how would you rate your own cooking skills? <laughs> my, my cooking skills? <laughs> 11. Are they better than stats? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm pretty sure they are better than stats. <laughs> yeah. Are they more than a five? I, this particular meal, I mean, I did have pre cut veggies and stuff. He had as well. He had as well. I yeah. know. That's what I'm saying. But I, I do. Got my own veg. Oh shit, she's here to put on. Ah, the cutter cut is here. Okay, yeah, okay. She cuts the veggies, but I put them in the pan, and I. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. You guys know I. I've been cooking ever since I started this channel years ago when I was living at home. Cook my own shit. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right, guys. So I'm here with maybe a familiar face to you. Kenneth has been before on the channel, but maybe introduce yourself again. Quickly to the people. I'm Kenneth, you may recognize me from Audio Tricks, a Dutch duo which is active in the hardstyle scene, but you might also know me from an earlier video. We yeah. went to Dreamfield. <laughs> Been, uh, DJ aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> DJ aesthetics coming true. <laughs> Thank you. Dreamfield, that was the first time we met. Yeah, yeah, and we did a gym session with yeah. Stan the Man, and now we're here again yeah. with something special. Something special because uh, Kenneth actually has been struggling like back in the day with being overweight and with fitness. Yeah, and, um, yeah I was like, when I first started with uh, working with my Ryan, because we have a lot of contact already, like back in the days, I weighed like 107 kgs. Um, we can do a photo up in the screen yeah, right here. Yeah. And then I went back this summer to 86 yeah. kilos. And now I'm binging a little bit. I'm probably around 92. And now we're gonna work again to find balance and to get me yeah. fit again. So we're working on not just getting him in shape, but also like teaching him the ways of sustaining that on a daily basis, which is hard for, for a lot of people, especially if you come from a background of being a little more overweight. I remember the photo with the... Yeah, <laughs> with the from Dober. Bitter yeah, yeah, yeah. what is that? Bitter what is that in English? Yeah, uh, yeah. Bitter ball in his bitter hand. Balls. Yeah. Bitter bells in his hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like little croquettes. <laughs> but now we're gonna take things to the next level. So I'm gonna take Kenneth under my wing for the next 12 weeks. And during that time, we will also meet up every single week. We'll hit a gym session once a week. And then we also, he updates me on his progress and we make sure that he stays on track. Anything we come across on, on the way, we will share with you guys to help you with your fitness journey as well. So it's basically just a real life example yeah. that uh, we're gonna follow throughout the next 12 weeks in my vlogs. Yes, uh, exciting. Exciting times. Exciting stuff, man. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you're, you see every single vlog. You have to watch every single one because you're not sure which one is going to pop up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what to do. <laughs> Alright, so now it's gym time. So we're starting us off with the hardest workout. Legs. Because if we've done this, then uh, it can only get better from there, right? It can only get easier. Yeah, so Canada's having some issues with the squat. This is the deepest he can possibly go. Deep as you can. <laughs> Try and go. Okay, keep this straight. Yeah, he's falling backwards. Yeah, so as you guys can see, he already knew it though. He told me beforehand his mobility is not optimal. My mobility is like, <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> nah. So we have to work on it. Yeah, we do have to work yeah. on it. Uh, as for the squad, I think I have a solution. You just squat deeper or I'll... I'll smack you. I'll smack you. I will go. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So we gotta work on the mobility. Now, that's not done in one day, right? So you've been lifting for a few years and 
like he's, he hasn't been able to improve his mobility on the squat. Yeah. So there could be multiple issues. It can be his hip flexibility, ankle mobility, like it can be a lot of things, right? I think it's definitely coming from the hips. What you can do is this exercise, and then you try squeeze this as hard as you can. Go forward. Do that for like three seconds, and then you go back. And then you do that. You do this 10 times. Obviously, this is not gonna improve your squat in one day, but it might already a little bit. So it's like... So instead of doing the squat right now, I wanna have him try the goblet squat. It's a different exercise, but it really enables you to sit back more, and that's what your problem is. Like, you cannot sit back. He feels like he's falling down, so yeah. let's see how that goes. Yeah, and then try to keep your upper body more upright. Yeah. Like it's going a lot better on this one already. It's not a weight that's in front of him, so he doesn't have the feeling that he's falling down as much. Tell, tell in English. So I'm now finally realizing that I never did my squat right, and that I always was thinking that I was close to the 90 degrees, but far away from it. Not, now like I, it feels different when you actually go like. It feels really different. Beyond that point, right? Yeah. And I'm feeling my quads immediately and this is like 60 it's not kgs, much yet. Yeah. not yeah. much and you say you were squatting 100 kgs right yes it's not always about the weight guys like weight is relative especially like if we're not moving it in the right way it right? sounds cliche but it's all about the form yeah and a guy face testing the mobility i've seen worse i've seen worse it can always be worse yeah i just don't need those left yeah, she's a new mouth squeeze. Yeah, you can see him leg shaking. <laughs> yes, I wanted to do the Bulgarian split squat, but I think with all the mobility we've already done, we're gonna do it a little bit easier, but still very hard. The burn is kind of like identical, it's just a little less stabilization. One leg leg press. Ooh, I underestimated this. <laughs> the easier one. Uh, <laughs> easier one. It's like easier to perform, but it's not easier on how it feels. Also, the bulking belly is making a comeback. You can see when I'm squeezing. Using the whole core. <laughs> core is getting strong. See, on this one, you got the range of motion down, so that's a good thing as well. Evidence. He really trains calves. Myron. <laughs> I guess the legs done. Now we're gonna finish off with some core abs. First thing we're gonna do is hanging leg raises, knee raises, whatever variation you can do. I'm personally doing front lever raises because I'm trying to do the front lever in my calisthenics workout, which is later in the week. Ja, dat is wel beter. I 
right, guys, so that was the workout. I hope it was useful to you at home. And uh, maybe you can learn from some of the mistakes that Kenneth is making, but we're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make it happen. I'm gonna give him some homework to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a lot. It's the real uh, teacher and the, the student of aesthetics right here. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna teach him the aesthetics and the mobility as well. It's gonna be hard in the next couple of weeks, but it, uh, it's gonna be paid off. In a few weeks, four or five, I'm gonna have a good form. Gonna make some gains. It's very important because many people slack on form and like the biggest issue is that if you don't go full range of motion there will be a point where you simply cannot make gains anymore. Like for example with the squat you will find that if you don't do the full range of motion and you, you stick somewhere uh, at some point you cannot increase anymore or you might get an injury from you know doing improper form because you want to go heavier but your body simply doesn't allow you to do it in the perfect pattern right so then you might set yourself up for injuries so we definitely don't want that. We want to make progression in the long term. Exactly. Workout done, now after legs were obviously... All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so workout done, we are starving after leg day and now it's time to enjoy us a really nice meal that Veronica actually made right before the workout. Back in the kitchen and we're gonna cook a meal from this book, My Short Lifestyle 2. And the meal we're cooking is Mexican beef with tomato sauce. So what we need for this meal is 300 grams of beef steak, 200 grams of tomato sauce, 100 grams of light cream fraiche, 75 grams of corn, one green jalapeno pepper, one avocado, one tablespoon of olive oil, and one tablespoon of onion powder, and 10 grams coriander, salt and pepper. So we're gonna start by cooking the meat, and meanwhile that's cooking, we are gonna make this salsa sauce. The first bit. Cut this into little nice pieces. <laughs> Got our olive oil in here. Pan is hot. I like it a little rare in the middle, so I'm just gonna turn them around until they get like a nice golden surface. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Actually says in the book here to take the avocado out of the shell, but I do the reverse, which is a little easier, a little less messy. So, grab a little knife. What a life hack. Yes, all about life hacks. This recipe makes four portions. 75 grams of corn divided in four is about 18. That's that. Recipe makes four portions. And the carb serving options are nachos or wraps or rice or potatoes or whatever you like. But enjoy. And I hope you liked it. And the reason why it looks a little bit different is because we add carbs, sweet potatoes, and we actually mashed it all up. All the ingredients, instead of plating it a little nicer like we did before, we just put it all in the pan, heated it up. And I think it uh, it's going to taste really nice. Just try it. Mm. Right? Try it. Oh yeah. It is, it is very good, right? Damn. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that face has enough. Yeah. He looks so satisfied. He has the same face as when we go to all oh, you can sushi <laughs> place, man. <laughs> so I'll put the workout of today, the leg workout, on the screen right now so you can screenshot it and try it out at home yourself if you want to. And I'm gonna share the full split with you guys. You can screenshot it in every video. All right, so I'm here with Kenneth, the man. Tell him what's going down. Kenneth, the man, Jason. Kenneth, the man, stand by. Fuck, yeah, we're okay. doing that. Kenneth, the manager. Yeah. Okay. Kenneth, the manager. All right, guys, so that was the first episode of Training with Kenneth. 
How do you think it went? Uh, it was hard, man, but it was more the form. I thought it was I was a good squatter or good, but I did it a good way. But I was far from the 90 degrees angle, so we have to work on that. I have my homework ready, so uh, yeah. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna improve that. So, I'll actually uh, post his homework in the description box down below as well <laughs> for anyone who has issues with you know the mobility as well. That would be nice, I guess. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're excited, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. His links will be down below as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.